Hello everyone. In this lecture, let's study about uh, Gandhi ji in India. So, in year 1915, to be specific, in the month of January, Gandhi returned to India from South Africa. By now, when Gandhi returned to India, Gandhi was very famous because of all the efforts that Gandhi ji had put in South Africa. In fact, Gandhi was a very, very, very famous figure in South Africa as well because all his efforts, all his ideologies, all his struggle, not only was uh, known to the educated class but also the mass. The whole people present in South Africa were aware of tremendous efforts that were put by Gandhi ji. So now, when he came back to India, a lot of nationalists did uh, request Gandhi ji to join the politics, but he refused to join the politics at the initial stage. Why? Gandhi, when he came for first one year, that is till nineteen sixteen, Gandhi toured. So he went from one place to another place across India, and he just calmly observed the people. He observed the condition of mass. the the capacities their strengths the weaknesses and what not so uh he was in this um uh phase of observing the mass so he did not take any position on any kind of political matters that is he did not indulge in any sort of political activity in india and gandhi ji was gradually convinced of the moderates limitations so he accepted that moderates had their limitations too and gandhi ji did not support the home rule agitation that was um, uh happening now in india he did not support the home rule agitation because gandhi ji said that it was not the right time Uh, for us to demand for the home rule uh, especially when britain uh, was uh, uh, was facing difficulties because britain now was uh, fighting the world war 1 and gandhi ji said that it's not the right time that we take advantage of our uh, enemy's situation and uh, start demanding for the home rule because if you remember gandhi ji had this a uh, technique uh, called satyagraha that he was uh, trying to uh, spread among the masses and uh, one of the features of his uh, technique of satyagraha includes uh, love for enemy and uh, not indulging in any wrongful act and uh, yeah these two are the basis of uh, satyagraha apart from non violence and uh, truth so uh, that's the reason why gandhi ji doesn't support the home rule league uh, home rule agitation and gandhi ji said that for the demands of the nationalists to be met they have to follow the non violent satyagraha method and gandhi ji said that okay i will join political organization only if the nationalists accepted the non violent satyagraha so gandhi said that for him to join the political organization nationalists had to accept the satyagraha technique and then in the uh, last phase of world war 1 that is in the year 1917 to 1918 that is when the world war 1 was almost coming to an end gandhi ji in involved in three struggles what were they champaran uh, satyagraha that happened in year 1917 ahmadabad mill strike that happened in year 1918 and keda satyagraha that happened in year 1918 so um, gandhi ji now involved in three struggles in the final phase of world war 1 uh, how will i remember these three i'll just remember the word cake C for Champaran, A for Ahmadabad mill strike, and K for Keda Satyagraha. Uh, Champaran Satyagraha, in fact, is considered as the first civil disobedient movement. How will I remember this? C for Champaran and C for civil disobedience movement. So this is the first civil disobedience movement. See, in prelims, you just have to identify the correct answer. So um, remembering uh, things with uh, mnemonics would. Uh, be easy for us to find out the real answer 
or rather the right answer so that's the reason why i'm giving it and the next one is Ahmedabad Milk Strike, which happened in the year 1980. And this is considered as the first hunger strike. In Ahmedabad, Gandhi uh, sat on a, a hunger strike. And uh, in the third struggle called the Keda Satyagra, which happened again in the same year, 1980, it is considered as the first non-cooperation movement. So this is about uh, the role of Gandhi in India for uh, a period of uh, three years after his entry to India. And Gandhi ji uh, had contributed much more than this. Uh, in the next lecture, let's study about uh, these struggles in detail. Thank you.